It's no question that the Katahdin woods are beautiful. <laughs> the question at hand is whether or not it should be a national monument. We're going to look at it. So, uh, if this is an indicator, uh, I'd, I'd be pretty happy, but we'll look at it. I'm, I'm not going to make a decision until, until we go through it, but I've talked to the family and uh, I've talked to all parties. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke received a guided tour of Maine's new national monument. He's been tasked with deciding whether the monument and others around the nation were created properly and whether the land should instead be turned over to the states. We're a little anxious about your review because obviously if something changes in terms of the context of the monument, it will not impact us in a positive way here. He was able to meet hikers, bird watchers, and those in the logging industries to hear their stance on the monument. All of them were for it. Well, it's a whole new view. We're not used to this. We love it that it already has a place here. Uh, I think what he will see is that uh, people are being listened to. Uh, maybe listening to somebody doesn't necessarily mean agreeing with them. I'm thinking good positive thoughts because uh, the reality is the options are slim for this region economically. Well, who can, cannot say this is a beautiful site? But beauty isn't the only factor of it staying as a national monument. There are guidelines he's looking for, such as public access, healthy forests, and recreation and traditional uses. I just expect if it, is, if it says Department of Interior on it, I expect the experience to be five star. While he's not making a decision right now, he's looking at all sides. I'm an optimist. From what I hear, uh, I think all sides love the land again. They, everyone, everyone appreciates public access. Reporting in Stacyville, I'm Jack Hilton for ABC7 and Fox 22.